This study also demonstrated the importance of sustaining the Kadoki targets over time. Sustaining targets for four quarters was associated with the lowest risk of death, while achieving a target for only one quarter or less was associated with the highest risk. Indeed, when PTH, calcium, or phosphorus were only in range for one quarter, the corresponding mortality risk increased by 34, 16, and 62 percent, respectively. These data indicate that not only is it important to achieve mineral metabolism targets, it is also important to maintain these targets over time to avoid the clinical consequences of disturbances in mineral metabolism, which include parathyroid hyperplasia, parathyroidectomy, and increased mortality. However, the majority of hemodialysis patients, over 75%, do not meet the Kadoki targets for PTH, calcium, and phosphorus concurrently. These persistent disturbances in calcium and phosphorus also contribute to calcification.